Right, so okay, we're here at the NEC and this is uh, Genealogy Art and could I ask you exactly what you're offering here to? Um, yes, um, thank you. Um, basically I transform people's research into something nice that they can hang up on the wall. So for example here you see a um, descendancy chart. Uh, basically we have one progenitor with all these uh, descendants and it's just a great way to um, for cousins and nephews to be um, presented in a manageable and attractive way. Um, so an, the alternative to a PDF that you hang up on your living room wall. Okay, so if somebody has got a family tree already made up, how do they get you to um, the, transform it? <laughs> basically, I mean the easiest way um, for me to work with data is to receive a JETCOM file. Uh, simply because it's a standard file, um, all the details are on there. I can assume that the details that are on there are correct, <laughs> um, which makes um, 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 deciphering written notes, you know, often if, if somebody gives me their written notes, deciphering um, uh, writing somewhat uh, difficult, as we all know. Um, and basically what I've done is, the, 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 basic, the basics of my work are um, hand-painted, I digitize it, and then I recycle the work. Um, so it makes my work far more accessible because if I were to paint this from scratch, uh, which I can, it would take me six to eight weeks, which um, makes my product very uh, unapproachable for a lot of people because of the amount of work that goes into it. But um, by digitizing it and recycling the work, uh, something like my turnaround time for something like this becomes 10 days, so it becomes far more um, uh, accessible. And, and also I find that um, a lot of my sponsors, um, um, when they have a family reunion, a wedding, say, um, the, because it's, what I offer is a fine art print, um, uh, you know, a lot of siblings can get together, uh, st share the cost, and, um, and all, the, all the nephews, all the grandchildren, all the great-grandchildren uh, get to take a copy home. Whether they then hang it up on the, uh, you know, by themselves, it's, it's up to them. But basically, um, it's an inclusive way of, of basically sharing f information amongst family members. And, um, and I do think that it helps with the family cohesion. Because if you have something attractive at home, you can say, look, um, this is Uncle George with his children, and this is uh, us over here. Um, and it's just a great way of, of um, you know, of getting also children interested in, or the next generation interested in, in genealogy. And what sort of cost? I suppose it depends on the, the size of the family tree. Exactly. I mean, um, I mean, I have two products. Um, one is an ancestry tree um, with 32 ancestors or 64 ancestors. Um, here, the, the the format is is static. Um, so my input is very limited. I input the names. Um, you can see it up here on the left hand side. Um, something like that would typically cost um, 200 pounds um, for a descendancy tree which is far more complex because my input is very hands-on um, and I need really 10 days minimum to work on it um, it can cost anything um, from 700 to a thousand pounds Lastly, how do they get in contact with you? Um, I have a website which is uh, www.genealogy-art.com um, or you can um, chat to me via Facebook um, and um, you know my English is, is pitch perfect. <laughs> there shouldn't be any communications issues. I live in Vienna, um, but you know... Um, uh, How beautiful. Yes, but um, our world's become much smaller. Um, and, you know, um, but I, I, I find, um, you know, Excellent. that it's a fun, fun thing to do. Okay, fine. So, um, that's great. They can contact you by Facebook, you said. Uh, yeah. So, Facebook and then what is the... Uh, usually my... my my favorite conversation is when somebody says, "My um, first, I have to find out what they what the goal is. Are you looking for an ancestry tree? Are you looking for a descendancy tree?" Um, then I ask them to send me the data in, in a JetCom format. Uh, then I look through it because sometimes, you know, people's um, expectations are, um, are near impossible to reproduce. So if you say you have 30 generations worth of data you want, um, you know, uh, presented graphically. Um, it is possible whether it would look attractive or, or, uh, or readable is a different matter. Um, so often we, um, I sift through the information, make suggestions. I, I, I usually provide a, um, like a sketch of, um, of, of what I think would be pr uh, manageable and, and attractive and then usually we take it from there. Okay.
Great. Thank you very much for your time and uh, hope you have a successful show. Thank you very much. Okay.